night out of Providence. Police are investigating and they're looking for up to four people who fled the scene of a two car crash on Allen's Avenue. We're also learning more about a stabbing last night on Doyle Avenue. Both scenes are shown here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. I would assume reporter to Leon Lima joining us live at the Providence Public Safety Complex with more. Yeah, Danielle and Patrick, a very busy night for Providence Police as they investigate two separate incidents that left a pair of people badly hurt last night. Now, I did speak with police about an hour ago and knew this morning we've confirmed the, the victim, rather, in last night's stabbing is now in stable condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, I want you to take a look at what the scene looked like around 8 o'clock last night. This was on Doyle Avenue, a very large police presence there near North Main Street. Police tell us the 42-year-old victim and the suspect were seen arguing just before the man was stabbed. Witnesses tell us he was stabbed in the back. Our crew saw officers taking pictures of a bloody wooden pylon believed to be the weapon used in this attack. Hours later and a few miles away, police were called to Allen's Avenue after a serious car crash around midnight. Police tell us this dark gray sedan collided with another car, pushing it into a building. That driver, a 40-year-old Cranston woman, was rushed to the hospital. Police tell us her injuries are serious, but not life-threatening. We're also told the driver and several passengers in that second car fled the scene. They took off on foot before officers arrived. And this morning, police tell us they have not made any arrests in either incident, but they are following some leads. If you have any information, you should call them. Reporting live outside police headquarters, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.